Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is about 7 a.m. on a good old Sunday in SoCal, beautiful Southern California, and uh, we're going to a really big car event, tons of exotic high-end vehicles, and it seems like, uh, well, they're already lined up outside. This is a huge turnout, man. Oh, gosh. Let's see if I can open it. Is it gonna open? Oh, sweet. Alrighty, turning off the car. Here we have it, we, we have made it with the, the 600 LT and we have David's 600 LT right next to us now. We gotta get both cars to the track sometime, very, very soon. But honestly, seeing all the exposed car this car has, we've gotta add that to this car. And, and then right there to the right, we have an F8. This thing, incredible. I was actually looking at one of those before I bought that car. And um, the really good thing about those cars is that you get seven years complimentary maintenance. Can you believe that on Ferrari, right? But as you can see, right here, Z51 CA Corvette. He's got tow hooks up front and on the back, and he's actually tracked this about three times already in five weeks. So that, that is just really cool to see because this car on track, I mean, it's so much fun. It's so balanced out there. And then thinking about that, he's, he already has our compound tires, like how ah, you gotta do it, right? He's got the uh, the Eagle F1 zone. So the same tires you find on like the ZL1 1 Ali. And the interesting part about that is that they are cheaper than the Cup 2s. And I, I think I'm think be putting those on the um, the 600 T next because since they're so affordable and stuff like that, I mean, well, why not try? And then he also has track pads too, so that's what we got to add for our C8 because they're just so expensive. As you can see, I'm killing it with the uh, the Sparco racing shoes because I think after this, I'm heading to uh, Willow Springs Raceway. <laughs> let's let's see what happens though. Crazy thing, as you can see, it's got vertical exhaust, just like our McLaren 600 LT. So that is just so awesome to see. Same kind of exhaust that you find on a million dollar hyper car, right? I gotta check this out once he parks over there. Isn't that green? I, I mean, it just pops. And there it is, 918 Spider. This thing, hybrid technology, almost a thousand horsepower. Come on. And another Pista? This, this versus our 600 LT, is that is a comparison that I'd like to see. Here we have the 918, and honestly, looking at this thing, it looks so good in the green. It is a few years old now, however, I think, again, it's it just timeless. And let's check out that exhaust, by the way. Coming up behind, we have the top-mounted exhaust, just like our 600 LT McLaren. I can't believe that we actually have a car that shoots exhaust up, right, just, just straight out, and also driving the car, shooting red and blue flames, just like this car right here. I mean, it's so unreal. Vertical exhaust club, am I right? <laughs> Okay, here we are leaving the event, following Joe to another event because here in SoCal, I mean, every minute of it, every day it seems like cars and coffees and just shows everywhere. And the cars, I mean, there's so many amazing cars here. Bugattis, tons of Lamborghinis, Ferrari Pistas, Ford GTs, all. Front end lift is up. Awkward part is when you try to leave these events and not bottom out your, your uh, pricey car. <laughs> My good? Thank you, sorry, it's really stressful. <laughs> Woo, they're nice, they're helping us out, we're set. I, I lost Joe, where'd Joe go? He's already going fast. That was the craziest angle I have ever seen and, and we just made it. The car made it and we didn't scrape. Come on, this is, like if you scraped that splitter, that would be just, that would hurt so much. It was just money wise too. And the front end lift actually allowed this car to, to make it through something like that. You gotta buy it. And there's all the cars right there. Huge event here. And doing pull.
pools. I wouldn't do that because there's cops everywhere. Oh gosh. Here they go, they're doing pools, aren't they? Don't do a pull right now. That is hilarious. And that, that's what happens when you go fast. <laughs> Look at this. They got him. They got him. Okay, so off to another event. And then after this, it's going to be a Willow Springs Raceway. And as you can see behind us, you have all the McLarens, right? There is one major problem with the 600 MT. Unfortunately, you can't really put any drinks in here because they fly around and down below we do have two cup holders So I have figured out the one and only a type of drink you can bring with you on these drives And it is a baby water as you can see the sidewall where the drinks go. It's not gonna fly out of here <laughs> Do you notice all the fumes going up from the exhaust tips? It's crazy because it completely alters your view in front of you it's something straight out of like a spaceship. I mean, in having the same style of exhaust that a 918 has, and then this car obviously doesn't cost near as much. It's just something that you don't see, which makes this car very special. David, I see you're driving the proper car this time, <laughs> right? The McLaren. <laughs> Dude. The, the race car, yeah, for sure. It looks sick. How does it feel with the Trofeo R's on it? Because I don't have the, the R compounds and I wish I do. Yeah, it doesn't make any difference on the streets. It's so, because we're not kind of pushing it. Oh yeah, yeah. You don't get the tires warm. If anything, it actually feels a little skittish because they're cold tires. I gotcha. And it I takes gotcha. forever to get them warm, but it, it's, it's an amazing car. I heard you went to the track recently with it. Button Willow Raceway, how do you Button do? Button Willow did pretty good. First time on the track with the really? uh, 600. Man, so then on track though, compared to the R8, I think you said, so the R8 is easier to drive than right? Easy to drive in the truck. I gotcha, I can see why, because even with like the P1, I remember seeing reviews online that the McLarens themselves are just, they've got that savage vibe to them, right? So if you mess with them the wrong way, you gotta really know what you're doing. You gotta, so. yeah, you, you gotta, you gotta be careful. You have to show a healthy dose of respect. You know what actually, is that carbon fiber on the front splitter added after market? Yeah. So you, you can do that? Yeah, so oh so gosh. so this is so this is this is new, and I got kind of like um, a camera system installed as well, a bespoke camera system installed, and then uh, I fitted the louvers aftermarket. Yeah, I got to do that. You got to hook me up with who yeah. say the info on that one because I need that. I did the mirrors aftermarket as well, and then I did the upper piece carbon fiber. Uh, so you're gonna finish it off, you think, with, with like the outer blade too? So the the. My my body guy was saying he thought it'd be really cool if we just had the top part like oh, I gotcha. car carbon fiber. So the mirrors, the top, and then we got a new wing carbon fiber as well. That looks trippy, yeah. man. So the whole thing is that I know it's an MSO option, isn't it, for yeah. McLaren itself? But yeah. I've never seen one that has that. So that that is a definitely a, a rare spec right here, man. I, I love the color. It's yeah. called Cr Caraccio. I, I can't pronounce it. I can't pronounce it. it. Even I can't pronounce McLaren it. Owner, can't, can't. Car. Caraccio, Caraccio, blue. Oh, it's blue. The most important aspect when you're showing the car, you need the I carbon know. fiber door I sills, know. man. It says 600 LT on it. But you know what? At least I'm not kind of like worried every time I yeah. get in about <laughs> kicking because it's just like, you know, it's good. I got you. No, it's definitely more for a daily. event front end lift is up and then i think yep next up is gonna be the two hour long drive up north to a willow springs raceway look how much higher you are joe go forward we gotta match ourselves up keep going forward let's line everything up what are you doing up there
one of my favorite racetracks ever, Willow Springs Raceway, right next to where we live, well, a few hours away. And this is gonna be it, our first ever time tracking the 600 LT on this amazing racetrack. So basically, what I wanna do today is that I wanna to try to learn this car properly. We don't have the track-focused tires on it, so really, it's gonna be more of a loose cannon out here, I think, with those back-end tires, because we have 285s. And being 285s and you have 600 horsepower with a very low curb weight, it's gonna really impact the driving experience. So, so I just want to learn this car because right away getting inside of it, it is a, it's a beast. You know, it, it's savage. And I want to be able to master the vehicle before I can go all out. All right, this is it. We have made it to race car party. Really cool turnout all around us. Lamborghinis and Porsches everywhere. And then out on track, I think they're, they're taking a break right now, but I saw a, a camera car driving around, which is crazy. Here we go. It's finally time to track the 600 LT here, and I know what you're thinking right now. Yes, we still have the normal non-track tires on this vehicle, so we're gonna we're gonna see how it handles. Um, I think it's be pretty good. These tires, though, I didn't feel confidence inspired when I was tracking with them at Button Willow. I just there's something about them when they break loose. They're, it's not a traditional feeling that I'm used to with like Cup Twos or any other R compound. So with these tires, it's just you can instantly tell how they are not designed for the track to the same extent as a Corsa is or a Michelin Pilot Sport 4S. These are made for ultra comfort on the street. It's the normal P0 with the PNCS sound deadening feature. So yes, we're gonna be driving on track with non-track tires that are designed to be as quiet as possible and daily drivable as possible, I think. Plus our brake pads are getting low. So unfortunately I will not be able to threshold brake late into the corner entry. So that is one thing I, I wanna make sure I don't mess up with because if I brake too hard today and go through some more brakes, I risk getting to that carbon ceramic rotor and that's like a $9,000 set for the front and then the back. So so uh, yes, I don't, I don't wanna mess that up. Okay, here we go. Going out on track with the McLaren 600 LT for the first time at Willow Springs Raceway. Go into track mode and then dynamic setting, which is already pre-selected. This car has got a, a savagery to it.
This is the fastest car. It is neutral. It is so balanced. The turn and the front end grip. Everything with this car. It, it's amazing. It's, 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 I'm in shock. It's the fastest car I've ever been in. On old blizzard, freaking non arc compound tires, everything. It's insane. <laughs>
All righty, so that wraps up the event here with Race Car Party. Look at this view right here. I mean, like, it is not often when you're standing directly next to a racetrack. You can see the Willow Spring signs right there on the side. And this is the same track that you saw a video online of Chevy testing new C8 Z06 at. So it is so much fun out here. This car literally shot flames the entire time. I'm not sure if you saw that, but under full throttle, this thing shoots and holds blue flames. On the downshifts, it shoots red flames. So on track, this thing is a light show the, the entire time. I spoke about this during our first track day. Um, we got to put on our compound. This was the last day, the final day of me testing out these uh, P0s, non-Corsas. They just, they feel too skittish for my taste. You know, I, I want something that's confidence inspiring and doesn't snap too much when the tail end kicks out. These tires aren't as gradual as I'd like them to be. Well, not nearly as gradual as I'd like them to be for this level of a car, this type of performance on this type of track, going this type of speed. <laughs> tires are going, also brakes are going, putting on actual affordable brakes to track this car. The same kind of brakes you see most McLarens running at the racetrack. So all in all, we're gonna be uh, doing a full on project build with this vehicle. Anyways, thanks for watching this video if you liked it. Make sure to hit that like button. It really does help me out. Also subscribe for much more great track videos coming your way. Anyways, I'll see all of you in the next episode.